Hey, Mark, how are you? Hey, Richard. Say hello to my little helper. Hey, Gordon. This is Gordon, the one and only. All right. This is, looks terrific. This was really a cool project, us all working together. And look how far it's come. I know. So we've added a couple things since everybody left. The siding went up. The roof went on. Standing seam metal, love that. Couldn't go any other way. Yeah, that's right. Also, we have Heath coming back. He he did the rough electrical, and Great. now he's just got to win the wire, Good. so. And now it comes to me, now you need a sink. You need some cold water. Correct. All right. Did you have water before? I did, but just for the sprinkler system. And not for the chickens? Not for the chickens. All right, so we can think about putting a utility sink in. It's also nice to have a place to, you know, wash your hands or rinse your hands. Oh, definitely. That's working with yeah. the chickens. All right, we're not going to give them hot water, are we? No, no, no. Just <laughs> okay. a nice cold tap. All right, so it's interesting. This is not really a true plumbing job because we're not connecting the drain back into the city sewer and have to think about all the code issues to that. Right. I just need the drain to go this way, and I need water to get safely out to here. Right. So you got water here? I do, right in the back. All right, good. Let's start there. All right. So you've been busy, Mark. You dug a little trench here. Thank got you. The, got the trench done, knowing all right. that you were coming. All right, so here's the water from the house. This is polyethylene often what they'll use subgrade like this. And then this is the connection right here to your irrigation. So all that goes away. That's right, so awesome. now it goes subterranean. I brought some additional polyethylene. We'll run that in this trench into the building. And so water will come along here and we'll get into the building. All right. Now on the drain, you know, technically we could just let it go to daylight. We just have it come out through the building, but that would splash it here on the gravel. I prefer to hide it, so we're gonna put this, this is a catch basin that we can turn into a little dry well. Beautiful. Right, we'll put Beautiful. this right here, bury it down below grade, and then we'll run our drain into it. So you could actually start by digging this and getting it underneath. I'll run the water line back in, we'll meet inside. Hey Mark. Heath, how you doing? Good, a little ditch digging. A little ditch digging today. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything. Gonna cut this off and make this connection right here. It's got a stainless steel clamp that I'll use a special crimp tool on. And I'm gonna leave down in the box this hose connection uh, for the supply onward. But a very important point I've added is a thing called a vacuum breaker. We wanna be careful that if any if this was in a bucket or something, we could never have any backflow to contaminate the water supply. And then I'll continue on with our supply to the new coop. All right, Mark, I've set our parts and pieces up. This is a utility sink kit that comes 18 by 24, all kinds of different sizes. I thought the narrow one's fine. This is perfect. All right, has four legs that I've already attached into the bottom, and it comes as a kit. It has a lavatory faucet or a supply faucet with the locking nuts here and two supplies here. Also has leveling legs or securing legs. So once we get it in position, we'll mark the floor and we'll attach these legs and then secure it to the floor so the sink doesn't move Great. around, okay? Now, that's the water supply. The two supplies come down here. What I've done is actually brought these together into a common T. Because since you don't have any hot water out here, if we didn't connect the hot water side, I'd e either need a cap, or every time you open up the cold water side, it might come out through the hot. Okay. And what I have done is I've added this T with a drawer off right here. So you could have an adapter onto a spout, but the spout is so lightweight construction. This will give you a really solid place to connect a hose oh, if you want to hose down there. I like that better. Okay. On the drain side, it okay. also comes as a kit. Right onto the bottom of it, you'll make this connection with a thing called a tailpiece. And I want to note that there's a couple of different types of gaskets. You can see this is called the top gasket. This is the one you don't want to lose because this comes up and compresses against the bottom of the basket strainer or the bottom of the sink. The rest of them, are with the regular compression nuts that come together and you bring it down together and you compress this nut to make it tight. So what we'll do is modify this for length this way and this way using this really cool tool that will cut it exactly right. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is not really a an officially licensed or permitted plumbing job because we're just going a short distance. Yeah. So I'm gonna go right into the drain. But if this utility sink had been inside the house connecting into the existing drain waste and vent system, would need to switch this to a TY of some sort and then go out through the roof. And in some jurisdictions where you can't go all the way through the roof, they might allow this mechanical vent. But we don't need it here because it's just such a short run. Right. All right, we are ready to put the parts and pieces together. All right. right good. All right, 
Mark. So you are technically the homeowner, so the rule is you always get the honor. So give that a try. The water's back on. Okay, so it might be a little air burping out because we've got to purge that line. All right, so you got cold water here. We got the additional hook for your hose right here. But a reminder, this is summer right. water. You got to drain at the end of the season and make sure you drop that trap so that it doesn't freeze, okay? I will. But otherwise, those chickens are going to be hydrated. All right, Richard, All right. they'll be. We're out of here. Gordy, ready? Very Let's excited. Go. Come on, here we go. Thank you, Gordy and Richard. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.